Hello peeps, this is Device Ride here, and today we are be we'll be beginning our very long but a very rewarding journey of a game called The Outer Wilds. With Outer Wilds. Not the Outer Wilds, Outer Wilds. And this game is so awesome that I have to share it with you. The last time I played this was a couple of years back, so uh, I it there's been enough time for me to forget a lot of stuff, but I need to show you how good this game is and why this is one of my very top 10 games of all time, question mark? Ah. But yes, just to let you know, disclaimer, these episodes will be long. I'm not going to shorten it like I normally do in my other videos because this game... This game really speaks to me in a way I hope I can show it how it speaks to everyone else. That made no goddamn sense. But we're going to roast a marshmallow anyway. Oh, so what I'm trying to say is this game is so goddamn good that I don't want... I want to limit the amount of editing that will go into this game. That normal... That, that I do to my normal videos. I need to give this game the glory, the whole glory it deserves. I get chills. I got chills. I cried when I finished this game. No other game has ever done that. Oh my god. Liar. So, I hope you stick around, but just, just be warned that these will be long, but they will be rewarding. I cannot show off this game in 10 minutes. 10 minute videos will not do. I want to get immersed. I want you to come along with me on this one and just experience the world that is the Outer Wilds. Hello! Hey, it's you! The slate said you're blasting off in your ship today. I'm really excited to see the launch. Aren't you gonna go into space? Aren't you? You better not have changed your mind. Hey, I'm still going. You'd better be. I've been forever since anyone launched into space. It's been forever since anybody launched into space. I really, really want to see it. Really bad. Hey, you want to try out my model ship? Slate said it's just like the real thing. Only less likely to cast start on fire. All right, let's give this a go. We give a little ship here. <laughs> oh, oh, and. Not only is the story good, not only is the soundtrack good, but the goddamn game mechanics is probably the best I've ever seen or ever played. Not that means nothing coming from me. I'm, I don't know game development, but I can appreciate how much time went into this game. I can appreciate how much of a pain they, the game developers, had to overcome in order to pull what they pulled off. This game won so many awards. But you will see, if you've not heard Outer Wilds before, I, I envy you, because you are about to see something spectacular. You know when you go through Breaking Bad for the first time and you really wish you could relive it and you're jealous of everyone else who has not seen it but they get to experience it like for the first time? Oh, I'm jealous of you. I'm jealous of you right now. <laughs> oh, hatchling, I hear you're launching us to see- I'm just gonna do one accent for their species. I hear you're leaving us to seek adventure among the stars. When you return, let's- let's- when you return, let you, me, and Hosan open up a beer, bottle of good stuff. <laughs> way ahead of you, pal. Okay, I don't want to speak. Let's just go. We will, but the story is really good as well. But at the moment, we just need to, we need to get off the rock. Oh, it's rude tile. Oh, you're actually blasting off in that thing, huh? They really don't explode as often anymore. All I know is between the space program and Mika's model rocket, things seem to burn to the ground ar around here more than they used to. Good to know that you do know I'm going into space today. Jesus. But this, this bit right here, what I'm just about to show you, is what was a jaw-dropping moment for me. 
for a, a lover of games and a lover of storytelling, it was this this moment that I thought, hang on, I'm in for a treat here. So buckle up. Just this little bit here, the satellite camera. This projector is linked to our to our sky shutter, which is currently orbiting Timber Hearth. It's our planet. That's where we're on. That we can leave. The satellite is equipped with two onboard cameras. See if you can take a snapshot. Okay. So at the moment, there's a satellite somewhere going around. Orbiting Timber Hearth. That's right. It's actually orbiting the Earth. Now. Not Earth, but Timber Hearth. So let's take a photo. We're controlling the camera. The satellite that's going around the planet. We've just missed it. Damn it. That's okay. We'll let it do it one rotation of the Earth. I'm just going to say Earth. Hearth. No, no, wait, no, come on, let's, let's do it properly. Timber Hearth. And then what we're going to do, because when I did this for the first time, I went, okay, well, if it's really good around satellites, you should be able to see it go past. You should come out of this and then look up and you should be able to see the satellite. I said, you're not going to do that. Surely this is just, you, no game would put that much effort into it. Watch. There it is. How cool is that? It's just ran it's just going. It's going around and you can control it whenever you want. And it will give you real images from what it's looking at there and then. That is so goddamn cool. Oh my god, that's so cool. Uh don't want to listen to you. Uh hey, Banjo. Talk to nice. Hello there, space cadets. I hear you're leaving the crater today. If you meet any of the other travelers up there, remind them to take proper care of their instruments, won't you? Uh, yeah. Yeah, well, where's the observatory? It's questions like that, dearie, what make us worried about you going up into space on your own, you know? The, the observatory is up the path behind a waterfall. There are a couple of signs marking the way, but really you just keep going up and up and then hook a right when you get to the zero G cave. Ah, oh, I forgot about the zero G cave. Oh uh, yeah, okay, there's a sign right there. Right, we we sh we, sh we should have saw that really. <gasps> Kids, we'll go this way. <gasps> fishing. Talk to the spinal. Fishing rhyme, fishing rhyme, singing helps me pass the time. You're leaving the crater. Guess we'll all we'll be a little bit busier without you around to lend a hand. That big water planet, Giant's Deep, that's where I'd go. Why is that? One time, after the rest of the village had left to sleep, and it was just the two of us sitting around the campfire, Gabriel told me about their first trip to Giant's Deep. They landed the ship easily enough in the waves, but couldn't see too far from the... Okay, 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 okay. I didn't want your life story, I really didn't want your life story right now. Okay, I'm getting wet. Just check everything's still going, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Sorry, my computer's <laughs> it's, it's mucking up a little bit. But, all going good so far. <gasps> There's our ship! That's our ship! That's our ship! There it is! That's our ship. Yeah! I'm going the right way, aren't I? Yeah. Jesus Christ! Look, sun's coming up. <gasps> Look at these planets! They have their own gravity. They actually influence... The gravity influences your gameplay. It's so cr goddamn crazy. I can't tell you. Look, sun's coming up. Soundtrack is so good. What's this again? Oh, I remember this. Yeah. I haven't played this for so long now. I can't remember the clues, and it's a pleasure to do it again. An absolute pleasure. Okay, so this is... I think it's... Ghost matter? Danger! Inside this fence is a pocket of ghost matter. A strange and impossibly cold substance that's invisible to the naked eye. The good news is that you can detect it, ghost matter, with a camera. Aha! Moving through ghost matter is uniquely painful. And we'll probably kill you. <laughs> Don't complain to me if you hurt yourself fooling around. <laughs> Hornfells, out. Hey, kitty. 
uh, what else is up here? Oh, I think I... Oh, there's the observatory. Hello, Maureen. Uh, oh, hello, astronaut. Uh, this is a good weather for your launch, right? Uh, that's lucky. What are you up to? I'm using my signal scope to pick up uh, sounds from distant planets. It's set to the Outer Wild Ventures frequency, so I can pick up the traveller's music. Last night I heard Rybeck's banjo coming from Brittle Hollow. I hope that means they're safe. I can hear different planets too. It depends on what time of day or night it is, since different planets are in the sky at different times. And that's actually true. That's so cool! The signoscopes are so cool. I can equip mine. So, like each planet has its own unique sound. And it, does it have its own sound? But there's astronauts on the planets that, that we have to get to. And that is part of the story. And that's what we're picking up. So that is a planet. That is a planet. Uh, there's... There's one there. Oh, that's actually on this Earth. Oh, we might actually go down to that, but our adventure today, we are just going to... I think our first launch, we will go to Timber Hearth's moon. That's all we'll do. We'll just get the basics there. Oh, oh yeah, I can zoom in, I forgot. Ah! Look at that. Look at that planet. There's just so much to look for. There's so much to explore. Oh, I love that planet there. That's so good. I could play that on guitar. Yeah, I'll play it for you one day. <laughs> right, put it away. Because we... What's up here? I saw smoke coming from Youngbark Crater up north and figured I should go check it out. You can use Scout Launcher. Just please don't break it while I'm gone. Tektite. A cool name. Oh, look at this place. Look at this place. Jesus. Jesus. Okay. Uh, there's a lot to read there. Uh, northwest. Oh, it's not a lot. So, northwest is that way. North is that way. What did it tell me today? So, this is our scout launcher. So that's the same thing that's orbiting. Oh, yeah. And then you can retrieve the scout like this. Oh! I can't remember what it told me to do. So what's that way? The geyser mountains. Let's have a look if geyser mountains that way. Oh, there, there's the there's the mountains, guys. The mountains. Cool. Uh, what's that way? Uh, south is Quantum Grove Crater. I nearly hit the tree then. Ha! <laughs> oh God. I am literally in the crater, that's crazy. Oh yeah, you can roll take the camera as well. Cool. Uh is that all the ones that I've seen, bruh? Uh I don't think I did that one actually. Boo! Oh, there's some smoke coming out there. What's happened there? Oh god, there's a massive Massive crater. What is that? Will it land? Yeah, we'll land. Okay. Should we explore that? No, not yet. Not yet. What we'll do, we want to get into that ship, so we need, we need some training first. So we need some zero-g training. There's, and then we'll go to that moon. And then we'll end it there. But we have to... We're not there yet. Hey, hey go Sam! Hey, I thought I might see you before the big launch. Nerves getting the best of you. 
Right, like you weren't nervous for your first flight. <laughs> hey, don't worry about it. Your nerves are built between you and me and the vast endlessness of space. Uh, but really, you, you'll do fine out there. I'd have worried more about that ship if I were you. Hopefully that lunatic slate at least fixed the radio retro rockets. You so listen, there's a, a satellite. Which is definitely not just a piece of broken mining equipment set up down in a zero-g cave in the need of repairs. <laughs> if you're looking for a little last-minute zero-g practice, head down the lift and into the cave. Or don't. So long as you're not, so as long as you're confident, you can't make a shit repairs in space. One repaired satellite coming up. Cool. Get to it and try not to concuss yourself right before your first launch. Great, so let's practice some zero G. Zero G coming my way. And we'll also learn about the ancient Nomai. Which is so goddamn cool. The thing is about this game as well, the developers made an awesome merch kit uh, that, that came out. Um, it was sort of like outer wild patches. It's really cool, and I never got one. Never got one. I want one. I want everything that Outer Wilds has. I love it. Wee. Hey, how are you? Hey, tough. What's going on, tough? <coughs> hey. <coughs> nice. <coughs> nice of you to drop down. Uh, I'm getting some zero G time in. So you're <coughs> you're going in there in the cave. Oh, what? No, no, I'm I'm fine. Great, great, and fine. Uh, you don't look fine. W well, y you know, I hate that cave, so I don't know why you're mm, why you're making me talk about it. Yeah, now I've got uh, now I've got hand sweats. Hand sweats. God damn. Oh God. Let's see if we can zero G our jet propelled suit all the way. Oh yeah, I forgot how cool this was. Ooh, and then we have to we have to prepare all this. Let's see if I remember how to control it. Cause I tried to control it on a keyboard and it, it, it even tells me tells you at the start that I recommended uh, a joypad to play this game. Okay, so, uh, so repairing repairing repairing. There we go, duct tape. Duct tape, R us. Uh, there's one there. So you lock on, match the velocity, and then gently go in. There we go. And then, when you're close enough, uh, what are you doing? You get close enough, and then you just repair it. <laughs> I forgot how hard. I forgot how hard this was in in space. Uh, and then, last but not least, is in here. There we go. There we go. All fixed. All fixed. There we go. Tickety boo. Tickety boo. Satellite training simulation completed. And it's so easy to to be discombobulated. Right, where are we going? Woo! Up there. Up. 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 And away! Hey, that wasn't too bad for our first first time. Hey, it was all starting to come back to me a little bit. I think this is going to be quite the adventure. But like I said, this is the adventure only is only just starting. So, ha! Oh, I'm so jealous of you. You get to see all this for the first time again. Like, for the first time. No more again. Just that's it. Hey! <laughs> nicely done. Of course, it'll be a little more stressful when you're hurtling through space, but just remember your training and uh, try not to hit anything big. I can see you're itching to get off this rock, so go get the launch codes from the observatory and get on out of here already. The best of luck out there, and hey, try to avoid getting yourself killed now that I've put so much time into training you. Got it? Uh, okay, you're speaking again. Uh-oh. <sighs> Just look how cool this looks. I'm geeking. I'm geeking out so much. I'm so sorry. There she is. There's her. There it is. It's right up there. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. 
Can you actually go in these houses? I haven't tried. No. That's fine. I can explore the space. I don't need to go into your little hut. Oh, we're at the observatory. Yay! Oh, it's so cool. So we've got here Hornfells, Gosan, Feldspar, Eskar, and Slate. Outer Wild Adventures founding members, clockwise from top left, Hornfells, Kozhan, Slate, and Felsbar. Slate is at the campfire, just before the lift to the ship, I'm sure. Bro. Hal! Hey, hey, it's my favourite astronaut. A launch day at last, huh, buddy? It's, a tra it's the translator tool's inaugural flight to... I'm so excited it's making me nauseous. Just think, you'll be able to translate any no more, no my text you want, anywhere you are. The two of us put a lot of hours into inventing that tool, so don't break it, okay? Haha, <laughs> oh jeez, do not break it. Uh, ignore me, okay? I'm, I'm just nervous. I'm not even the one going into space. How are you feeling? I'm terror excited. Good. You're only... You've only been waiting for this day since you were hatchling. I can't wait to see all your training pay off. So what's the dirt? You see, you here to see the new Nome statue? Of course. Hey, I, I knew you'd want to see it before you headed off. Hornfell's just finished prepping it for display today. Amazing, isn't it? It makes me wish we could see what a real life Nome looks like. But I guess this is as close as we'll ever get. Check it out. It's like they had fur. Fur is weird. This is the first fully intact statue ever found, you know. And for how old it is, it's in great shape. Ah, oh, jeez, I got a little carried away there. Go on, you have a ship to launch. Take care of yourself out there, you hear? Oh, bless him. This remarkably intact statue was carved by the Nomai, an ancient species who dwelled in our solar system thousands of years ago. The statue provides us with our most detailed look yet at the Nomai, who appear to have been covered with a layer of fur. Note the decorative jewellery that has been carved as part of the antlers. Although their artifacts and structures have been found on almost every planet in this solar system, we will still have no idea where this species came from or what happened to them. How cool is that? So there really was a different species living in this solar system. Just think, think how, what we would do if we found out there was an ancient civilization that went extinct in our solar system. So we know that there's a Nomai civilization that existed, but we don't know why or where or what happened to them. Oh, there's a little museum. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. This piece of Nomai writing was essential to deciphering their unique language. Although this text is linear, Nomai text often branches off from a central point. Interestingly, each branch tends to be written by a different author. Oh, okay. So this branch was Cassava. We've nearly ready. Felix and I have finished construction and she says calibrating the device won't take long. Felix. Fortunately, the Athel Rock's lack of atmosphere will make calibration simple. After all this time, I'm thrilled to finally resume our search. What is this? Oh, I know what that. I I know what that sign is. Uh, you'll no, you'll find out later. It's not time for you to know what it is yet. Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, aside from the dwellings and structures they built, the Nomai also made art. This decorative pottery was discovered in Brittle Hollow. Some ancient Nomai. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, yeah, there's not a lot, there's a lot of dialogue at the moment, but the dialogue just stops, and then you have to go find it, so just bear with it for a second, it's just, it's just leading you up, it's just leading you up. What you see here are parts of the Nobi skeleton, we can tell from their skulls they have possessed antlers and quite unusually, only three eyes. I don't know, I am really uncomfy with this bloody chair. Oh, hold on, let me just, <laughs> uh, hold on. Okay, okay. Sorry, my back is killing me today. <laughs> Look at me, I feel like an old person. To know my body was... was most likely adapted for living exclusively on land. 
The differences in the Nomai's anatomy, such as their shockingly fragile bone structure, sh shows us that Hothians couldn't. Oh, we are Hothians! Couldn't have descended from Nomayan ancestors. Okay, so so they are completely not our fam family or in our genes at all. It's not clear where the Nomai originated from or why they disappeared. We hope to find more clues to this puzzle as we explore our solar system. That's what we're doing. <laughs> Uh, little scout. Oh, this is cool. This crystal was taken from a Nomai ruin on Brittle Hollow, one of the planets. It seems to create a local gravity distortion and was mostly, mostly likely to reverse steep surfaces. Try it out. Okay. We are literally about two minutes away from launch here. So hold on. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that freaked me out the first time I did that. Oh, fishy. This angelfish specimen was found attached to the landing gear of the landing gear of one of our ships that flew close to the dark bramble. It appears well suited to living in dark places with minimal atmosphere. <gasps> oh, I remember this one. Watch this. This strange rock moving around in this grotto appears to react to conscious observation. Level-headed among us realize there must be some sort of optical illusion at play, but Gabriel claims the rock exists in all possible states until it is observed. Whatever that means. Isn't that the theory of electrons? Like, if you observe it, like, you can't measure it until you observe it, but if you measure it, it the uh, measurement change? It's crazy, but watch this, watch. Look away. Look away. Gone. It's there. Look away. Gone. How cool is that? And this... What's this? What's closer? These balls move on their own. The ground is perfectly level, so what do you think causes this spooky motion? The answer is the moon. As it orbits our planet, the outer rock's gravity pulls on objects from different directions. In fact, it's pulling on you right now. Just think. Just, just th appreciate. How they did that in the game. They created gravity in the game and it influences it. So, look, this is... The moon is pulling on these rocks. So if we go outside quickly and look up... Where's the moon? I think we just missed it. But you would have seen the moon. That's crazy. Okay, I think that's... I think that's everything. Hello. Oh, this is Hornfells. There you are. I just finished pre-flight observations, <laughs> and, and local conditions are good. Uh, time to get our nearest astronaut off the ground. <laughs> and you'll be our first astronaut ever, equipped with a Nomai translator tool. Uh, I confess, I've been giddy all day just thinking about it. <laughs> We'd better equip that uh, than ever to unravel... We'd better, we're better equipped than ever to unravel the mysteries of the Nomai. <laughs> you and Hal sh should be very proud of your work. Tell me, what's your plan once you go into space? Ah, what, what to do? I'll meet up with the other travellers. You're going to check in with them, are you? <laughs> Not a bad plan. No one knows the solar system better than our astronauts. Uh, let's see, Ch uh, Chart is on um, Hourglass Twins, Ryback is on a Brittle Hollow, uh, Gabbro is on Giant's Deep, uh, last I checked, and, uh, well, there's Felspar, um, obviously, but of course, we, we, we don't know where they are, or if they've, or they're even alive. Felspar's been lost for a long time, I'm afraid. On a most cheerful note, <laughs> you'll find Esker Station on Attleruck. Well, they're not a traveller so much as a, a lunar local, uh, but but I'm sure they'll appreciate a visit nevertheless. Uh, well then, looks like all that's left is to send you off. Uh, all, all in all, it's a fine day for a launch. I'm ready to get off this rock. Excellent. You'll be needing the launch codes then. Here they are. Best get off the ground before Slate makes any more modifications to your ship. <laughs> hey, good luck out there, and... Let me know if I can help you with anything. Oh, we got launch codes! 
Those codes are. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Ready? Watch. Watch. Do. Look at that. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. So this is our solar system. This is where we are. Oh God! Did, did my voice just break? <laughs> So I'm only 15. So this is our, this is Earth. This is a timber hearth. This is where we are. This is the moon where we're going to. This is hourglass. We got brittle hollow. We got giants deep. We got. Hang on, gone. We've got a little moon that will come apparent later. We got a little black hole. Oh, it's so good. I'm cool. Oh my god, oh my god, we're ready to go! That's so cool! Right, here we go. My hands are all sweaty. Oh, it is, it is feeling like I'm playing this for the first time again. Oh, I forgot about this bit. It's cross-sided. So, th so this is them, this is it saving. So goddamn cool. So goddamn cool. Here we go. So this is Hal. Hey, hey, so did you get a good look at a Nomo statue? Uh, the statue was glowing. Why was it glowing? Whoa, whoa, the statue was doing what? So its eyes open and then you saw images from your own memories and glowing lights flying around? You mean like a hallucination? Listen, no offence, but are you sure you're okay to launch? Like, medically speaking? You know what? Don't worry about it. Maybe you should sit down for a bit and take it easy. I'd hate for anything bad to happen if you try to launch while you're not feeling great. But hey, uh, when you are ready, they can make the most of our translator too. <laughs> I can't believe it's all grown up and leaving for space already. For real though, I'm glad you're the one carrying it and not like Rybeck. They'd fall off it for sure. Say, if you want to do a short trip to just get your space legs under... Yes, we'll do that. Yes. We'll go. We'll go. There it is. There it is. There's Atle Rock. Oh my god, here we go! <laughs> hey, can I get on there? Oh, we won't try, we won't try. We're not, we're not interested in that. Hello! Tefra. Hello! Uh, 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 hello, astronaut. Are, are, you going, are you going into space today? Uh, are you going into s space and never coming back like Felspot did? What? Y yeah, um, uh, Hornfell says F Felspot went away into space and, and he didn't come back. Uh, Hornfell says Felspot was the best pilot ever, but no one knows what happened to him. Hornfell probably shouldn't be telling you stuff like that. Uh, Hornfell says that too, uh, but if Felspot disappeared, you, you might disappear too, right? You're not as good as Feldspar, so you should be really careful not to get lost. Okay, thank you for the uh, the old slap on the booty there. On your way. And then this, look how cool. Like, the sky's even blue because the sun's up now. Like. Oh, this. It still blows my mind this game. I cried at the end of this game when it ended. Because not only is it obviously the story good, but ah. Oh. So we have a. So we have one more slate. So we have one more little marshmallow together. Without burning it. Burning it means it's bad luck, so let's try not to burn it. Hey! Look at that! We did it! We fucking did it! Okay, I can't remember what your accent was. Looks like you're ready to take off. The excitement of a launch is fun and all, but I can't wait to get back to working on a new ship. 
We're working on fixing the autopilot's avoidance system for this one. Uh, sorry. <laughs> I'm so giddy! <laughs> I should have an audience here. I should have... Oh, there's the moon right there. We're going to the moon. So we're actually using no ancient Nomai technology to power this... Uh, power parts of this ship. Which you'll find out later. Like this thing here that you already saw. It helps with the gravity. We've got our ship's log. Uh, so you see the Nomai technology down there. And we really have to keep an eye, make it make a habit of having a look at the log every time we enter the ship, because it, you have to solve clues and you have to sorry, piece the clues together, and it's very easily to just get overwhelmed by everything, because each each um, planet has their own branch of clues and they all kind of link together. So it's really important that we just keep on top of that. So at the moment we've got the one and only Earth. Herthian village, as well as the main source of explosions on this planet. The Nomai statue in the observatory opened its eyes and looked at me. I saw strange glowing lights and many memories flashed before my eyes. Like a penis! A cave at the very end center of the Simple Hearth used by Outer Wires Ventures. Yeah, we know that. Okay, 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 okay. So we need to go here. So this. So there's more to discover here. So, lunar ruins. I hear there are no my ruins somewhere on the Atle Rock. So there's something to look for on the Atle Rock. No one knows where they are or why they were built. The no my text in the observatory talks about calibrating some sort of device on the Atle Rock. Oh yeah, it did, didn't it? And then we got Esker's camp. Sounds like Esker is still stationed on the Atle Rock. They've been there by themselves for a while. I wonder if we can hear them. Let's get out um, with our signal scope. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, there it is! Cause look, what looks what happens if I try to? <gasps> There's the moon. Look, it just. So we, the signal is here in this crater. So we're gonna land there. How cool is this? Okay, so we got our signal. We got our location. We have our suit. Actually tells us what to do with our scout here, so it can see beyond the horizon, illuminate dark areas, detect hazards. Oh, I forgot it could do that, and test the environment. <laughs> yeah, it's fucked. Here we go. So we've got we've got our landing camera and lift off camera, but we don't want to do that. We just want to go. Eh! And there we are. Look at that. And if we wanted to, we can just land back on it again. But we need to set a course, Skipper. Set a course, Skip. For the Atle Rock. So what we can do is match the velocity of the Atle Rock. We have to be careful because Timber Hearth's gravity will pull us in if we just stand, if we just stay here like this. See? Ooh. No, let's go. Oh, we actually skimmed the atmosphere there. So, it's only there, so I'm going to put the landing gear on. And we're going to test the pilot's capability of landing. So, we know where we're going to go. God, the moon is just there. Jesus. Uh, let's land in a little crater. Here we go, we're landing this one. Congratulations everybody! You have just become an Outer Wild astronaut. There we go! And then this, and the gravity is 1.2 times the gravity. <laughs> so it is, there's less gravity here, so we can, oh no, what have I done? Of course, I've landed in the crater, so I've just blocked myself in, right, we'll, we'll move. Just, we'll just move ever so slightly because I didn't really like that landing space, you know what I'm saying? It's a, it's a small rock, so it doesn't really matter where you go. And you have to be careful when you land because you can't damage your ships and then you'll have to repair it. 
So here we go. Here we go. And now we have a Timber Hearth Sunset. No, Timber Hearth Set. <laughs> so, okay, I'm a little bit lost. So we need to find the whistle. So he's 99 meters away. Oh, I got jetpack. I forgot we got jetpack. And yeah, and we can just orbit like this. Hey! Alright, what's he gonna sound like? Uh, so he's. But he's an old timer, so yeah, I got it. Yeah. Oh, hey, it's you! The ground control Ted didn't tell me you were launching. Long time no see. Actually, I guess it's been a long time since I've seen anybody. Don't the other travellers come by? The lunar outpost so saw more traffic back when our ships were less sophisticated and needed more frequent repairs. Nowadays, it's mostly used to keep a set of eye on things. Sometimes Jerk says comes by to say hi, but Gabro is Gabro, and you know how Rybrock feels about unnecessary space flight. Don't go. I, I mean, anything else you want to ask? Was that you whistling? Uh, probably. Uh, oh, actually, definitely. Uh, the other travellers carry instruments, so they don't bother whistling. You can pick up their music with a signal. Yeah, we know that. We know that. The North Pole is marked in red on your mini-map, but the Astle Rock is pretty small. It's a pretty small moon, really, so just go north. You, you can't miss it. What is this place? Haha, <laughs> funny. Oh, stars above. You're serious, aren't you? That's just depressing. Ugh. Welcome to the Lunar Outpost, which uh, apparently the space program doesn't bother with. Just doesn't bother to teach anyone anymore. When we'd first started Outer Wilds, travellers used to bring their ships here all the time for repairs. Our space fairing technology has improved loads since then, but the older ships intended to uh, fall apart a lot. Like more than they do now. Using the outposts cut down on a number of launches and landings taking place in the village. Okay, okay, okay. We got ya. We got ya, mate. I'll have a little, uh... I'll have a little marshmallow with you. Eee. Uh, eee. Tickle it. Tickle the fire. And eat it. Oh, that's fine. And... Let me just get to our ship. It's so easy to move around on this on this planet. Because the gravity... You'll find in other planets that the gravity is just really hard. That you can hardly jump. Like, so it's really... Satisfying that you can just do that. <laughs> you gotta be careful though, because it'd be it's quite hard to get back to the ground if you uh go off into orbit. So let's just check our log. So there we go. So we've got little branches coming off now, so we know that we are on something. So the story is picking up. So we discovered the camp. Esker is growing a crop of trees at their camp. They seem to be doing okay, but they've probably been alone on the moon for too long. Okay, so there's nothing else to see there. But, uh, at the camp, but it's here. Eska says the Outer Rocks North Pole is a great spot to listen for the signal scope. So we can do that. And then I think the greens are sort of main missions, or anything coloured is main missions. Uh, I hear, So if you want to progress, like you don't know what for, how, you, how games work. I hear there are no my ruins somewhere on the Outer Rock. No one knows what they are or why they were built. The Nomai text in the observatory talks about calibrating some sort of device on the Atoll Rock. So, we need to go to... Uh, the Lunar Lookout. Where did you say it was? Uh, the North Pole. So, let's go... Let's go see Santa! So, this is... We go to the North Pole to see... Oh, God. So we're traveling to the North Pole. We'll leave our ship there because it's only a little rock. So we go to the North Pole and there it is. It's right there. Here we go. So boop 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 boop. This is the North Pole. There we go. We're standing on the North Pole. I declare this is the North Pole. Uh, Hesker's signal scope log. 
Day 48. Still no picking up Rybeck's banjo from Brittle Hollow. I'm sure they're fine, but I feel better once I can hear their music. Day 51. Listen to Chert play for a while today. Unrelated, someone should tell Porphy and Kosan their flirting is not subtle from an aerial perspective. Day 55. Banjo music coming in loud and clear today. Sounds like Rybeck's doing okay. That oof, I was worried. Day 63. Today I thought I heard something strange. I don't know, it was probably nothing. Day 70. No, it's back again today, too. Something strange is coming from Timber Hearth. Day 76. Okay, I know this is crazy, but the sound from Timber Hearth sounds exactly like Feldspar harmonica, but Feldspar disappeared in spade ages ago. It can't be them. Them? I thought Feldspar is a person. It must be a crew. Day 88. It's still here. This creepy. Maybe my signal scope is broken. I'd better talk to his nice. A harmonica? Was it... Where's the harmonica? You say Brittle Hollow? That's not a harmonica. Oh, that's the harmonica. So a harmonica has can be heard on Brittle Hollow. And then he said he can hear it on... Timber Hearth. So that's Feldspar's harmonica, who's been lost for a long time. Oh, you can! Oh, this is where the, the strange smoke was coming from, from the crater that we found from the scout. Oh, you see what I mean? It, it goes off into different things and then you have to go explore. So there are less things to... God, why is it getting that? It's getting so red. There are less things to read as we go along, but please stick with it. Because when we get into the meat of the game, it's just like, right, we've only got... No, we have to go to here. We have to solve this. We have to solve that. So I'm just going to... We're going to go back to the ship to get the log... Uh, to update our log. To God damn it. Let's see where we are. Uh, okay, so doodle doodle doodle. Lunar lookout, so we did that objective and that branched us somewhere else Okay, yeah, okay a lookout platform from a spectacular view of the solar system Esker uses their signal scope here to keep tabs on the other travelers Esker signal scope log reports harmonica music coming from somewhere on Timber Hearth. They claim it sounds just like Feldspar harmonica, but it Feldspar disappeared in space ages ago. So it gives us the freedom to do it to do to choose our missions. So we can go to the lunar ruins on here on the moon, or we can go back to Timber Hearth and find out why we can hear Feldspar's harmonica. So what should we do? I think while we're on the moon. We'll go to uh, somewhere on the Outer Rock. Nowhere. So let's go to the South Pole to see if the ruins are there. Uh, oh, I didn't realise my fuel was so low. Gosh, darn it. Uh, should we take the ship to South Pole or should we walk it? Ah, we'll walk it. Yeah, let's get our steps in. Oh, God, that's so dark. That's so scary. So I'm, I'm, I'm guessing it's at the South Pole. And there it is. <laughs> well, it looks like ruins to me, if you ask me. Oh. Ooh. Hello. Oh, so I, I'm guess yeah, so these are the logos of the planets. So, yeah, I just kind of skipped ahead there, didn't I? So, this points to... So, this is their observatory. This is how they viewed planets. So, that should be... Brittle Hollow? No, it can't be, because that's Brittle Hollow. That's Giant's Deep. That is Dark Bramble. And if we use our signal scope... Oh, I did it again. It's behind the moon. 
Oh, no, it's not. It's that one. Oh, so that's the Hourglass Twins. No, it's not. It's just past... What is this? Oh, uh, hold on. That might be Timber Hearth. Let's try that. Where are you pointing? Where are you pointing? Where are you pointing? Come on. Down there again. Okay, so that's not Timber Hearth. Okay, so I, I know that's Giant's Deep. So let's put it in the middle. So we should point there. There we go. So they said that should be Gabro. Gabro's on that planet. You can even pick up, you can even hear the wind. That's still cool. I want to see Brittle Hollow. I think that's Brittle Hollow, but it's behind the sun, which is getting really big. Oh yeah, didn't I tell you? You're on a time limit, and the sun blows up, and it only gives you 22 minutes to, to solve clues every single time. So this one is particularly long because it goes for the tutorial, and 22 minutes, the 22 minutes didn't start until we went into space. So roughly, you'll, we'll see how many missions we get in. I wonder if we got time. I wonder if we got time to read some stuff down here. Yeah. Okay, I just want to read some stuff down here. Uh, okay, uh, Kalias, I was upstairs testing the eye signal locator, and it can and it can hear and follow the signals from the sun. Oh, it was the sun, Jesus! Oh, it was the sun. Giant's deep and brittle hollow. I'll be quick. I'll be quick. Uh, however, something strange is happening when I asked the eye signal locator to follow the eye's signal. The device's indicator rotates wildly and never points to just one direction, so that's what it was spinning. This is a curious result. It's possible the eye has stopped calling out its signal. So this is the this is the sort of the mystery that you have to solve. I see. I most likely calibrated the locator incorrectly. Privet, my apprentice, and I will make adjustments and try again. Oh god. Uh, an update. Disappointingly, everything is correctly calibrated after all. It saddens me to uh, posit this my friends but I believe we need to build a more sophisticated device if we want to find the exact location of the eye of the universe then we will build it don't lose hope uh, Cassava our search for the eye is what brought our clan to this place we won't give up so easily okay uh, do I have time to read this uh, uh, that where should we? Where should this new morphous gate to be built? Larger than the ice is, uh, in the moon locator. Uh, I will begin straight on brittle hollow. Brittle hollow. Okay. I want to show you something. Yeah. Uh, go 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 go. Look, look what's happening. Look. I'm just gonna. I'm just. I'm just. Does gonna blast off? Doesn't matter. Watch. Watch this. It's so cool. <laughs> the sun blew up. The sun went into a supernova. Don't worry, don't worry. I know you think we failed, but we didn't fail. We have not failed. That's part of it. And you remember this bit? Remember what the Nomai statue did? So th that's taken all our memories. I can't remember why. Oh, why does it, why does it do that? This, oh, you, we'll find out what that, what's happening there as well. And then we speak to Slate. 
Uh, hey, you ready? You ready to get this thing off the ground? The ship's all fueled and ready to go. Did I? Did I just die? Whoa, bad dream or something? You still look half asleep, but that's a negative on being deceased. Uh, I know it's tradition to sleep out under the stars the night before launch, but if you ask me, it makes you all a bit jumpy. Really? That's the only that's the only question you got for him? So recap. The sun blows up. You've got a limited time to solve the clues until you have to restart all over again. So how cool is that? So uh, again, these episodes are gonna be longer than normal because this game deserves its its time. It needs its own recognition, and I'm not going to cut lots of stuff out because that's just that's just not fair to the game developers. So they put so much time and effort into this, and I want everyone to enjoy it as much as I enjoyed it for the first time. And it gives me so much joy to think that you're seeing this for the first time. So we'll leave it there. So the next one will be coming very shortly. I'm not sure when. I'll get a routine up very shortly. So anyway, keep safe. Stay happy, stay humble, and I shall see you in the next one. I've been Duff Arshavart. Thank you very much for watching this episode. Don't forget to uh, leave a like and subscribe. Uh, yeah, it, means, uh, it just means a hell of a lot. And click the notification bell. What else do you have to say? You know what to do. Thank you. Take care.